Hello, everybody. This is Skip Allen, and welcome to Where Are Those Darn Brushes Anyway? <laughs> I get, <clears throat> excuse me, I get asked the question a bunch of times about um, where people can find artist oils, brushes, where they can find the real bristle brushes, or how many brushes were deleted, uh, my favorite brush is gone, where is it, that kind of thing. And really, everything is still there. Um, some brushes were deleted, but there were duplicates. And so let's let me show you what um, I think will help you figure out where to find your brushes. But first, before we get into that, we need to talk about a couple of things. One is that prior to Painter Eleven, uh, Painter Twelve, sorry, prior to Painter Twelve, you had only one brush library. And nobody called it a brush library, but that's what it was nonetheless. Painter Brushes was uh, the brush library for Painter 11, Painter 10, Painter 9, and so forth. Now, in Painter 12, we have two libraries. And so because we're beginning to get multiple libraries, it's important that you understand that and how to look for them. So if you come up to the... Uh, brush selector bar and click on the down arrow that opens up the brush library panel and on this little side here there's an option button or a flyout menu and you click on that and then you come down to brush library and click on that now you're going to see a bunch of stuff under here that's not in your computer these are all libraries that I've added to uh, painter 12 but what comes with Painter 12 would be Painter Brushes, and that's the library for Painter 12 brushes, and Painter 11 brushes, and that's the library for Painter 11 brushes. So if you really cannot find a Painter 11 brush, no problem. Just click on the Painter 11 brush library, and voila, you're now taken to Painter 11 brushes. And so you have your acrylic brushes, your airbrush, your art pen brushes, which are not showing up in Painter uh, 12. They're there, but they're not showing up. Artist oils, uh, which also are not showing up. Uh, and there are some others, too. I think uh, distortion doesn't show up or it's added with FX. I'm not sure which, which happens there. But what the developers did is that they combined certain categories, they deleted certain categories, but moved the brushes inside of other categories. And then the actual brushes that they deleted from Painter 11 were multiple, uh, were the duplicates of the same brush. In other words, you have three dry brush, acrylic dry brushes right here, uh, acrylic dry brush 10 with a radius of 10, a dry brush with a radius of 20, and a dry brush with a radius of 30. Those are three identical brushes, just the size is different. And since we now have the dynamic uh, brush adjuster, it is so easy to change the size, there's no reason at all to keep all of these in there. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Painter. Uh, 12 brushes. And we just click on Painter Brushes, and that will take us right back to Painter 12 Brushes. Okay, now when we look at our acrylics here, these don't look the same, right? Well, they, they don't look the same for a reason. Now, this is a screenshot of uh, the acrylic brush brushes in Painter uh, 11 brushes, okay? Uh, so let's open this up, and you'll see you have bristle brush here. Now, these are kind of small to see, where over here you have captured bristle. Well, the captured bristle is there, and then you have the dry brush, and the dry brush is there, and then you have gl uh, glazing acrylic. That's there. Then you have opaque acrylic. But what about the grainy dry brush and the dry bristle and the clumpy thin flat and the clumpy brush? And all, you know, all those. What are they? Well, that's what I was talking about. If you, I'm going to just get rid of this now. I don't think we need it anymore. Um, no, I don't need to save it. 
All right, so if you come up here and look, and we've, we've selected the bristle brush, and I'm going to drag over my um, a brush control panels, and I'm going to open up the, not that, not that, I'm going to open up the general brush panel. And notice that the bristle brush has a dab type of artist oils. All right, there you go. Here's one of your artist oils. Go to Clumpy Brush. Look, artist oils. If we go to Clumpy Thin Flat, artist oils. So your artist oil brushes have been split in between three different categories. They're in with acrylics, they're in with blenders, and they're in with oils. Your real bristles are set up the same way. They're in acrylics. I think they're in acrylics. I'd have to check to make sure, but they're definitely in uh, the oils category. And what about those uh, pin brushes? Um, you know, we, we if we look at the uh, the brush that was called artist pin brushes, and one of my favorites in there was the worn oil uh, pastel or worn pastel brush, I can't remember the exact name. But if I click on pastels and I come down to the bottom, there it is, worn oil pastel brush. So that's that brush out of that other category. In other words, all of the brushes are still here. They're just moved around to different places. Okay. Now, also, you'll notice that categories have been combined. This was charcoal and conte. This is uh, chalk and crayons. Uh, remember I told you the, the um, distortion category was gone. Well, the distortion category is in the FX uh, group. So if we look in FX, here's your distorto and, uh, you know, the other brushes that were in the distortion uh, course distorto. And so for th those are all inside of your FX category. So they've been put in there. So you've got, you know, again, you've got everything you need. Now, some people say, but it's a lot harder to have to go up here and switch around and grab these libraries every two seconds. Well, you really don't have to do that. And let me show you what you can do. I'm going to bring over this custom palette and notice I have a name, David Gell, Jeremy Sutton, John Derry, Karen Boniker, Painter 12 brushes, and Painter 11 brushes. Well, if I click on Karen Boniker, that's going to take me to the Karen Boniker Library. Here's Karen Boniker Library. If I click on Painter 12 brushes, it's going to take me right back to the uh, Painter brushes. If I could click on Painter 11 brushes, it's going to go right back to those Painter 11 brushes. So how is that possible? Well, let me tell you what you can do. You can click on your uh, brush selector bar, go to your brush library, find a brush. Let's take miscellaneous. That's a library that I don't have over here. So I clicked on miscellaneous, and now we've gone into miscellaneous brushes. And I have a whole bunch of different uh, types of brushes in here. Okay? And all I have to do is take one brush, and we'll take this uh, Don Opaque Oil too that's already selected. And I'm going to grab that brush, holding down the Shift key, and I'm going to drag it right over here to my library panel. Now I'm going to right-click it and rename it, and I want to name it Miscellaneous. So we'll name it M-I-S-C-E-L-L-A-N-E-O-U-S. Oh. <laughs> and we'll say, okay, Miscellaneous. Now all I have to do is view it as text, and now anytime I click on that, Painter brushes, take some painter brushes, and miscellaneous will take me back to miscellaneous brushes. So as long as you have a library palette with uh, the names of the libraries, and it all has to have this one brush from one category. You don't need a brush from every category. This is just one brush, and you rename it the icon. Now, don't rename the brush over here. Just rename the icon in the palette, and then you can switch back and forth to the uh, 
libraries will quick, very quickly. Okay, I hope that helps uh, clear up the problem. Your brushes are all still there, but if you get confused, don't forget, you can always go back to Painter 11 brushes and find them just like you did in uh, Painter 11. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.